Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we got a quick little project where I want to install a gooseneck plug into the side of my RAM box. So we're going to take this guy and hopefully we're going to make this work. The issue is the instructions say we're actually supposed to put it down in here. And the problem is if I put this here, when I put my extended bed piece on here, I can't use it if I install this piece. So I've done a little bit of measuring with a little bit of look, this should go well. But you see, I got my RAM box pulled all the way out. We've done some measuring on the inside of here. And what I've come up with is I managed to make this little template and I took a two and a quarter inch hole bit, drilled it out, lined this guy up into it, and then kind of marked it to where it should fit here. Now, <clears throat> if I take this piece and I line the top left hole on the dimple that's right there, get everything lined up, make sure it's all level on the holes, not my template, but get lined up. We should be good to go to where we don't have to drill or cut anything on the back side because there's actually right inside here, there's a aluminum or steel brace or something like that. And the last thing I want to do is cut that out for the wiring or for the connector. So we'll see. I don't know how this is going to go. Looks halfway decent. Everything looks good. Flush on the bottom, flush on the top, it worked. Here's what's cool, is we actually have, if you look up through there, or we'll do it like this. We come through the hole here, we actually can get our wiring back over in there, which is super nice. So we'll come through here, go straight up in there. It did jump a little bit. So right here, you'll see, we got a little bit of walking wind. I guess it went through, and then we hit a little bit of that plate right there, but that's okay, because all we gotta do, take that guy right there, slide it up into the left, make sure it's level, and then we're golden. And from the center of the hole to the left edge here is 67 millimeters. But if you create your own little template, line it all up off that left dimple right there, you're good to go. So let's take our 30 second drill bit, punch some holes in there and plug it in and we're done. It recommends a 330 second, but that would have been into plastic if we were going down in here. Step up to a 764 because the metal's just a little too tight for these screws. It's actually rounded off the first two of my bits. Actually, that one's not so bad, but this one got demolished trying to go through there. So we're gonna jump it up one size. Nope, one eighth. So that was crazy annoying. I went through three different bits, broke a few of them. Like you can see here, that one's sheared off. That one broke in half. And I think I broke one other one. So it calls for a three thirty seconds. I ended up stepping up to a one eighth and that still wasn't quite big enough and the next size was too big. So I just took a punch and just opened it up just a hair. 
the left side, these two sides are actually gonna be backed by another piece of metal that's a support piece that runs along here. This side's not gonna be a big deal. So I'm still gonna use a, what is this? I'm trying to read what that is, a five eighths maybe? I don't know. These things rust up so fast, it's hard to tell. Maybe it's a one eighth, I don't know. But one eight seems to be the magical number on this side here. And now we'll just make sure this is level. Looks pretty good. You see how it's going. Do the other three holes. Hopefully they won't be as tough as this one because this was a nightmare. Um, so you had to get out the channel locks to grab that last piece out of there. And we'll get it wired up and we're done. So there you have it it can be done it's not fun but it's nice you get to keep all this your lights still work which is really nice and I'll show you how the wiring's done from the back side so you got two ends on one end you have your connection to the new plug on the other end you have your splitter connection which ties it in here but you'll notice it's keyed right here Let's see there we go so you can see it's keyed right here so that's got to go up and to the right but if we look here the way it's keyed right here so it's going to go up to the right and right behind the tail light tie it in and we're done but i did have to take all this out to try to I did have to take all that out to try to figure out whether or not it actually would fit. Turns out it fits. It's tight. It's a lot of work, but it's just enough room. And you'll see right here, because this wall here lays over here and is tack welded, which makes it really tight and really difficult to get into. But it's doable, and the book doesn't say you can do it, but we figured it out, and that's the best way I think you should do it. Thanks for joining me and hope you like and subscribe. Thanks.